In this video, I'm going to be dismantling one of these battery packs. Now, I found these at the local recycle place. They had a whole lot of different ones there. They had, well, three different sorts. They had large, medium, and small. This is the smaller one. They had quite a lot of them. They look like they've come out of uh, Hyundai's or Kia's. They had a Hyundai Kia sticker on them. And that made my ears prick up because the battery that I've just put in the, the um, electric Brumby is made up out of these LG cells. NMC cells made by LG and LG cells were used in Hyundai and Kia vehicles. So I thought, well, if they're made of these cells, then I have an idea of, of how to use them. So the modules are there in the recycle place, but I don't really know much about them. I can test the voltage and I can test, I can see by the voltage that there must be a number of series, a number of cells in series in there. But to be able to use them, I need to be able to see the voltage of each of those cells within there so that I can monitor them properly if I'm using them in an application down the track. They may not be. They may be a, a box uh, full of potting compound and you can't get at the individual cells, in which case they'd be fairly useless for, for my purposes anyway. So I asked, I saw that there was a damaged one there. And so this is it. I, I ended up getting it. Uh, they gave it to me for a bit cheaper because it was damaged. And I thought, well, that's I'm not wasting too much money then buying that, pull it apart to see what's inside. And so that's what this video is all about. This is a battery from the recycle place. Interesting thing. So what can we see? We can see HL green power. I understand that that is, means it's a Hyundai battery. There seem to be two modules here joined together with a cooling plate in between. So this is a, this one's bent, but the cooling plate has a thing there for coolant to run through. Runs the, the length of them. I assume by the look of these bolts that these are made to put another one there and another one there and another one there with cooling plates in between. So these little aluminium runners presumably came out, come out from between the cells and sit against that cooling plate. There's a negative and a positive there. This orange piece has been broken out of this one. There's a few other damaged bits on this particular one as well, which is why I got it extra cheap. So if you look at those, at the voltage on those, twenty-one point one. Under here, you have a what's that? A one, two, three, four pin connector. So that'll be communications to the BMS inside. That was interesting. I just measured the voltage on these pins to see if there is anything analog. And the bottom one was zero with reference to the negative terminal. Then the next one up was seven volts, next one up 14 volts, and next one 21 volts. If you remember, 21 was what the, the top one was. I've just flipped this over and what I said before was wrong so it's not two identical things bolted together. This base plate is just one base plate for the entire two modules on top. So it looks like these modules will come out one by one when I undo these bolts. See how we go. So this was clipped on over here. I prized it off with a chisel. So I can see a single pouch cell under this plate. So it looks like it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six cells. 
once you prise this metal plate off you can see the cell underneath and unfortunately it doesn't have any writing on it I was hoping it'd have something on it to tell us what it is this is reading 3.5 volts nice and healthy so 3.5 times 6 cells is indeed 21 This is on the front end where the, the positive and negative terminals are. This front plastic seems to be coming off. Hopefully that means we can expose what's under there. This is exciting. This looks like we're actually got access to the cell voltage. So I was assuming that we'd have a uh, a BMS circuit in here, and that this would be a, a digital communications connector. Uh, but it doesn't look like it. It looks, looks like we've got a fuse, and, and that would go to one of these four connectors, and then a fuse. Another fuse, another fuse. We've got four outputs. Uh, so it looks like we've probably got four voltages here. We've got six cells uh, and four on this connector. There's another connector at the back. In there. So we might just have the cell voltages out to a handy connector. If so, that would be very nice. I've managed to find some of these plugs to go in the sockets on the side of the battery module. So what I've done is I've wired it into this bit of Vero board. And so we've got seven wires running in there and I can test voltages along here. This will mean that I'll be able to test the voltages without uh, blowing those little fuses. I did blow one of the little fuses trying to stick my multimeter into the into the sockets they plug into there there's three wires on one end and there's four wires on the other end making seven connections all together and i've wired it into this ferro board so that the negative terminal of the battery is there and the positive terminal is there. So you've got 21.14 at the moment over the entire pack. And then we can get each individual cell voltage. So here's the first one, 3.53. Second one, 3.53. 3.53. 3.53 or 4. Three point five three or four and three point five three or four. So that tells me that all six cells are the same voltage. Uh, so so far we're so good. All six cells are the same voltage, which means that we don't have an obviously bad cell within them. So this battery module seems quite promising. About thirty kilograms, but I don't know the capacity. If it's the same chemistry as what is in what are the cells I've got in the Brumby, then the capacity is probably going to be quite good for that 30 kilograms and the discharge rate will probably be quite high. These are things that I need to test. Uh, but no, it's great how you can get into each uh, cell voltage. You can, you can test each cell voltage using a nice little socket on the side. And I found a plug to fit in that socket so I can put a battery management system on there and wire it into that that plug for that socket should be reasonably simple thing to do. There are a couple of things I'd like to know about it. One is the capacity. I'd like to know how many kilowatt hours is in this 30 kilogram package. I'd also like to know, are all the cells healthy in there? Uh, and so to do that, I can do a discharge test. I can do a capacity test. 
uh, but those can be for the next video. So thank you for watching.